So first of all, without a doubt, AI and technology, you can't deny it anymore. You have to use it in your process. In localization, many people are afraid of it. Automation of content creation, can that work? So the idea of Locaria really started about seven to eight years ago. Back then, digital marketing was experiencing rapid growth. So you did have paid social channels, which were only in their infancy, but were gaining a lot of popularity. And you had paid search, which was heavily expanding into mobile at that time. Clients found it really exciting. Clients saw an opportunity to test many markets and many languages very quickly and easily using those channels. But there was a problem, they had to generate the content for those platforms and those channels. Everybody wanted to get their content live in many languages. Why? Because it was easy to reach the audiences. Those industry verticals have understood at the very early stage the importance of creating a lot of content for digital marketing. The one thing which they still have to get right and where we as an HC help is to make sure that the localization teams come together with the marketing teams in order to understand the performance and the business objectives and incorporate them into your content creation process. So when you speak about marketing content, there are different formats, there are platform regulations, there is the tone of voice, there is also understanding the audiences and what resonates best with them. There are many, many things in there, which mean that what has worked in English needs an entirely different structure in the target language, not only to be linguistically correct, but also to be accepted for the platform. When considering how best to engage international consumers, you need to consider accessibility, authenticity and relevancy. By accessibility what I mean is, are you putting the messages in the place where the person needs to read them at the right time, in a format they understand and in a language that speaks to them? And by that I mean language in the broader sense, not just a local language. Performance linguistics is our approach to localization. It's about creating content based on performance KPIs and measuring the effectiveness of that content. We are super passionate about the fact that multilingual content is not just a piece of the production supply chain and a necessary cost. It's a value driving element and if you get it right, you can really drive performance for a brand. So MediaSense is a global media consultancy. We work primarily with brands and we help them unlock greater value from their media. So I think currently uh, it's fair to say that the role of localization is, is, is underserved in the market. More and more global brands seeking, seeking efficiencies, seeking greater consistency and governance have opted more for, for an English master you know, translation approach rather than more of a trans-creation and, and local ad adaptation approach. We see it offering huge opportunities around growth, deeper connection with customers and more relevance. We just need to change as an industry, shift the focus more towards you know, local adaptation rather than just you know, global translation. We sell leisure passes, so it's like sightseeing passes when you go to a city like New York or London or Paris, you want to visit uh, a lot of attractions there. So we offer a pass that can give you access to most of them. Working with an agency like Locaria is really helpful for us uh, because they know what we do uh, and they also know PPC, which is one of the main performance media for us. So being able to work with an agency who knows what they're doing, it's really useful. They also tend to work pretty fast for us and we're a fast moving company. So having someone who is flexible and reliable is key to our business. So Mediacom are a global media agency, so we are working with our clients to decide which media tactics audiences we should be going after and making sure that that is, is activated brilliantly for them. I mean it's so important, the, the ads that we put out there are a reflection of our clients' businesses and it's what's going to drive them sales or brand affinity. So making sure that the ads make sense to the users that see them in whatever country or language they would best like to see them is really important. 
In terms of how brands are going to win or thrive or survive in a digital marketing world or a digital economy, there are a few things that I think they're going to have to adapt to or to thrive with. First of all, I think, is the ability to navigate and understand those environments, the marketplaces like Amazon or the ecosystems like Google. Um, with that understanding on both a technical level and also a marketing level, they'll be able to manipulate them in the best sense of the word so that they can offer better service to their customers. Are you at the top of the rankings? Are you putting yourself in a position where you can capture the demand that already exists? Second is, is once you have that demand, are you in a position to provide them with a brilliant user experience uh, or customer experience? And then finally, because it's a live and dynamic environment, the ability to be uh, agile and change with what you learn so you can offer a better service uh, and interaction with your consumers is going to be key. Without efficient communication, clients can damage their brand perception every time they move into a new market. So it's um, paramount that this is done in a successful way. Working with languages is not math, where you give five words and then we translate to another five words. So the support we give for translation is pure translation, right? If you look at Locaria, it's a, it's a dedicated service, so it's more a complementary service that we have, um, providing um, localization that takes into consideration the cultural aspects, the consumer behavior, how people search in different markets, and combine that to make the communication successful. Working as we do on a global basis across a whole host of different markets, um, it is very important for us to understand not just how words are translated, but the nuance behind those translations. If people are mentioning monsters or dragons or dinosaurs, the distinction between those three words is going to be very important because the movie, if we're using that as an example, may have dinosaurs in it. So if we tell a client that it's all about dragons, then we've misinterpreted what people say. So those kind of subtleties are important. Because AI and machine translation technology become so important in the language industry, in the future for a language service provider to survive, they have to combine a number of different things. They have to combine advanced analytics, they have to use technology, they have to use, of course, linguistic expertise, and they have to understand analysis and optimization. They have to move away from being purely reactive with their job, getting a piece, sending something back, but treat their language production process as something ongoing and put analysis into the mix. Increasingly, as we see brands adopt global positionings, what we need to make sure is that we're interpreting those in a culturally nuanced way, which is where translation and transcreation is really important for us. It means that we not only have to have a partner that can understand the environment we're putting it in from a media point of view, and secondly, can they help us make sure that we're landing that message in a nuanced way from a cultural perspective? As I said, you know, value in one culture can mean something very different in another. And in terms of someone like Lacaria, we could not work at the scale that we work at and the quality and depth that we work out without an expert partner like that, a specialist like that. What does that mean in the future? You have to create a new type of resource in your team, a resource which can tie all those elements, data science, technology, linguistics and analysis together to produce this type of content which will actually perform in marketing. Multilingual content is a value producing thing. It is not just a cost in your content supply chain. And that if you get it right, it can really drive your business and we can prove that with data.